Hey, coach, how you doing today? Good. How are you? Doing well, sir. Thank you. Uh, I was just curious, how have you felt about the team's overall offensive pace in the series? Um, the pace? Yeah, like getting into sets, like doing things quicker. Yeah. How have you felt? Yeah, we haven't been great. You know, we talked about it after game one and game two, but just getting to our sets quicker. Um, I think it's taking us a little too long to get into our sets. And, you know, by the time we make one or two passes, we're in a better situation. So uh, we've shown throughout the course of the season that we haven't played well late in the shot clock. So uh, we got to be better with our pace, get into our sets, and that way we can make multiple passes and multiple drives as well. Thank you. Thanks. We'll go next to Cam. Go ahead, Cam. Hey, good afternoon, Coach. Um, Aiton has been different than the other centers you play, you faced in those playoff series this far. What challenges has Aiton pre prevented or presented to you guys, and how you plan on uh, solving that issue in the game five? Well, I mean, it's tough to solve an issue when you have guys, you know, with their penetration with CP and um, book, you know, creating so much attention that you got to help those guys. So he's getting easy drop offs and dunks. It's not like he's like posting us up and, you know, going one on one. Like he's, he's getting drop offs and um, he plays well off those guys. And that's what big men do. And um, we try to contest at the rim. He's also great at just going to the offensive glass. And, you know, smaller guys, our, our smaller guys are having a tough time just trying to box him out with the physicality. You know, when Zoo and those guys go for blocks or, you know, contest a shot, um, it's put a lot of pressure on our backside. But, you know, when you give so much attention to CP and Book, I mean, you know, a guy like, Aiden, he's going to, you know, like I said, he's been playing great all playoffs, so just find the open areas, get into the spots. They've been doing a good job of using them effectively when they when they have, you know, two guys in front of them, they drop it off, and he's finishing well. Thanks, we'll Thanks go Coach. Next. Thanks, we'll go next to Ohm. Hey, Ty, I know last night you had said, uh, you know, coming back from 3-1 is very doable. You're, you're one of the few coaches that's done it. I think it's only been done like 13 times to come back from 3-1, but I know – Every series, every team's different. But what did you learn about that experience of trying to come back from 3-1 that you might be able to apply to this? Just take it in one game at a time. Um, you can't focus on winning three. You got to focus on winning one. And it really starts quarter by quarter, you know, especially when you play on the road right now uh, in game five. You guys got to take it quarter by quarter and um, try to win each quarter. That's got to be your mindset. You can't think about, you know, three games and, you know, you know, four or five, six days from now. You got to think about tomorrow and just winning quarter by quarter. And I think that's the mindset that I got to make sure our team has going into the game tomorrow. Is there anything you remember in particular from that first game five in 2016 when you started that comeback with the Cavs that stands out to you? Yeah, I think just um, LeBron set the tone early, um, but I think our guys were just locked in and focused on just winning the first quarter. That's what we talked about, winning the first quarter, winning the first quarter. And we came out, we played great. You know, we had a good start. Um, and then once we kind of, you know, had a good first quarter, we just kind of fared off that throughout the course of the game. And then we had to go back home for a game six. And, um, you know, we told our guys, we got to go back home for game six anyway. Why not go back home with a win? And our guys were locked in and focused and ready to go. Thanks. We'll go next to Pepper. Hi, Coach. Um, it's great to talk with you. So I know somebody asked something a little bit similar to this, but I was wondering if there's any other message you're giving to your team right now with everything on the line in this game? Yeah, just basically we had a chance to win two of those close games, you know, so it's not like, you know, we've gotten blown out in the games we lost. Like we play well enough to win those games and um, just a couple of, you know, bounces our way and we could be up in the series. So like, don't think about it like we've been getting blown out. We haven't have an answer for this team because we do. And I just think offensively, we just got to keep trusting, you know, play with more pace and more um, drive to the basket to open up, some, you know, some, some better shot attempts for us. And um that's the biggest message I have for our team. Like, it's not like we've been blown out. You know, the games we lost have been close every single game. So we know we can play with this team. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, next to Miriam. I love her. Um, <laughs> hey, Ty. So just due diligence, um, any update on Kawhi? And do you expect that he'll be stuck in LA tomorrow while, while you guys play in Phoenix? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so back in LA. Um, yes, and how's everybody else holding up? Is Zoo okay? And, and, and Nick and any, any other injuries to report? Uh, I'm not sure until tomorrow, um, but, you know, um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. We'll go next to Law. Ty, how are you feeling today, man? Feel good. 
good. Uh, I saw where we all saw. I mean, the rotation went down to eight players uh, for the most recent game, and and now that you're kind of in this hole, like I feel like you're kind of battling this battle between who you can play and how long they can play. So, is there a consideration into kind of expanding the rotation, knowing that you kind of needed to hit that maximum effort over the course of a full game? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when the game starts and how it goes, and I'm um, just kind of go from there. Thanks. Next to Tomer. Go ahead, Tomer. Hey, Ty. You you started Marcus um, yesterday in yesterday's game. Kind of got off to that rough start defensively. Um, do you think maybe you'll go back to Terrence to start Game Five because of what he kind of gave you with with him and Pat Bev on CP and Book? Uh, we'll see tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to discuss it now, but we'll see. Well, thank you then. <laughs> Which one we give you the answer right now, Tom? Eric? God dang. I, I, I was just curious. I'm just curious. I'm just, yeah, we'll see tomorrow. I mean, I ain't gonna. You, you want me to give up the whole report? Well, it's a lot of a lot of will sees for you know a, a quick amount of time. So I'm just curious. But okay, thank yeah, you. Well, I'll let you know tomorrow. I'll make sure I tell you. I appreciate that. Ty. I'll be sure to ask. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right, uh, back to Justin. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Coach, uh, you also mentioned earlier about, you know, getting to the rim more. Has that been like a factor for you guys in the series, kind of similar to like Dallas, where it's just like, just get to the rim because of how much uh, Phoenix, how well Phoenix does at shrinking the floor and stopping you from getting open threes? Um, it's been for us, you know, all season long, you know, when we attack the paint, get to the rim, we're a totally different team. And we know that. And um, they did a great job of shrinking the floor last game. They did a great job with eight and being up on the pick and rolls with Reggie and PG where they weren't able to get downhill. So in that second half, we made a little adjustment with Zoo and having him slip out a little early to, to get those guys downhill because then Aiden has to back up. But, um, you know, we're a totally different team. When we attack the paint, we get to the rim. We know that. So that's got to be our emphasis. Thank you.